Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. While the previous speakers all with the spirit have definitely helped me. Um, first, I'd like to give praise and honor to God, who is the author and finisher of all faith. And in the oneness that God has created us, he created us plurally. I'd like to thank my parents for being the ones to create me. And I want to also thank my honey this morning because she's the big influence over this particular presentation. Okay. Thank Pastor. Uh, we had a, a little discussion about this presentation. And also my brother Mike. Uh, this young brother, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. He, he has it and it's growing. Now. John 19, 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. But I want to go before that and go to verse 25 through 27. And as prophetess gave us, how would you like it to see your son, be you mother or father, hanging, suffering? Now, 25 says, Now there stood by the cross Yeshua, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Yeshua therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. Then said he to the disciple, Behold your mother. Yes. And from that hour, that disciple took her into his own home. Yes. Yes. So we get to the idea and the concept of thirst. Mm -hmm. And the Hebrew word for thirst, I looked it up last night and uh, didn't bring my dictionary, but the word thirst in Hebrew says the name is pronounced Yeshima, which comes from the root word Shema and means thirsty, but it also means an overwhelming desire for things either of the natural world or of God. Yes. This kind of gives you a nebulous uh, I did the conversation I had with Pastor, and it's still tied up. So see, I'm glad I, I spoke to you about that. Because the idea that the entity, the man, the being that God created to accept as a sacrifice for our salvation had a desire. And that desire was to engulf and to accept the universe itself as water. He thirsted the desire for earth, people on earth, to be saved. So we all thank God. We all thank the salvation. And we all thank the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, for our redemption and for our safety as we walk this earth, giving all praise and honor to all things that God has done for us yesterday, today, and forever. Amen.